Hi, my name is Mark O'Sullivan, award-winning sound engineer. I'm off to Salworthy Church right now to assess the acoustics of the church and to figure out the best place for uh, setting up microphones to record a vocalist with a guitar, backing choir, and bagpipes. Bagpipes in a church. My God. My feeling is they're going to flood the mics. The sounds of the bagpipes are going to flood all the mics. So, uh, to, what is it? It's the 23rd today. It's Monday the 23rd. Uh, the recording takes place on Saturday the 28th, which is in, what, five, six days' time? So I'm just driving down there now. You can't see her, but I've got my daughter here in the car. Can you say hello? Can you say hello? Hello. Hello. My name's Emma. She's Emma. She's my assistant recording engineer. She helps me do all the connections, like backline. She's my yeah. technical assistant. She's brilliant. I'm bound to say that, aren't I? But actually, she is. She yeah. can connect lots of things already. Ask me anything and I'll do it for you. You sure? No, you don't want to do that. No, prob <laughs> prob probably not. <laughs> don't do that. No, no. Um, yeah, she can connect lots of different things. She knows all different wires, cables, and what have you. Power cables, audio cables, DMX cables, difference between DMX cables, XLR connections, TRS, TRRS connection, 3.5 mil connection. She knows it all. She knows a lot. So, yeah, I'm just off down to this church, uh, yeah, to assess the acoustics of the church and the feasibility of actually recording uh, this chap's new song, Anthony Chipperfield. I don't know if I should say any more, but... Uh, we're all going to meet there on the 28th to do some, a few bit of rehearsal and then capture some audio. And I hope and pray that I've got enough experience and enough knowledge, enough intuition as well, to be able to capture the perfect audio in this church. And I'm going to bring you along for the journey. Okay. See, see how I uh, set it all up and all my considerations and things like that as I'm setting things up. Okay, so I've arrived at our destination. Here we are, Salworthy. I'm gonna give you a little shot here. Look at this. Wow. This is excellent, this is gorgeous. And here is the church. Yeah, let's go inside and have a look. Look at that, amazing. So I've um, just stepped into this church. Oh my God, what a beautiful space. So I'm gonna give you a little tour of the place. Of course, I'm here to think about the acoustics, and room size, placement of mics, and all that kind of stuff. So that's what I'm gonna be looking at and listening for as I'm walking around the place. It's absolutely huge. Oh. About half a second. Yeah. And it's a really lovely looking place as well. Let's go up here. Have a look around. I love the way it sounds in here. Why am I talking so quietly? Why do you do that? When you go into a church, you just suddenly go whisper, 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 whisper. whisper. You just do, don't you? I like this place. I bring some lighting as well and get this place lit up a little bit as well. A little lectern over there. Yeah. And some big organ pipes up there. Look at that. Nice. So, yeah. I think it's going to work out all right. I like the reverb. There's carpet down here on the floor. A bit of sound absorption going on here. I like the height of the ceilings. Look at that, really is a lot. It looks a lot higher in real life than it does in this video. It looks like my head's on the ceiling, but actually it's not. Look, uh, see, perfect. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna have a little walk around and uh, get some more ideas. So we've scouted around the church. We've looked for a few, the ideal places for the backing uh, vocalist, Anthony Chipperfield and his guitar and um, the bagpipe guy. 
I think we've got it all sussed. Sounds really nice in here. The reverb drops away really nicely, really quickly. Um, and it's a warm sound in here. We, uh, excellent choice. Anyway, this is, um, this is the man, and this is his song, right? So I'm going to say hello to Anthony Chipperfield. He's right here. Here he is. This is Anthony Chipperfield. Evening. And this is the man that we're going to record on the 28th of this month here in this church. I'm he's very got, much looking forward to it. He's got a new song coming up. Yeah. I don't know if we want to say too much, really, do we? We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna keep it under wraps. We're going to keep so, it under wraps. Yeah. And uh, we'll uh, unleash it when it's done. We did a test recording here, didn't we? We did, yeah. It sounds good. Yeah, it sounds really nice. Yeah. I've not yeah. been here until today, so yeah. it's, uh, it, was a, it was a good choice. And, um, and a great place to put someone else that we've got in yeah. the song which we're going to keep under wraps as well yeah <laughs> <laughs> so, this uh, this is really exciting chippy yeah, yeah, i'm yeah, excited about yeah, this good eye, mate. thank uh, you very much for inviting me to come along you. and be your engineer for this one uh, i really appreciate that yeah, first choice thank first you choice. uh i'm excited i'm really excited yeah. is there a story about this guitar you want to tell people yeah this is uh this is my best musical bargain to date this is a 1971 TG005 Troubadour 3S, made by Suzuki in Nagoya in Japan. Uh, been in the same case for over 40 years, unplayed, and I was the first uh, person to come across it. Uh, new strings, sort out the action, and it's, it's like brand new, but it's actually not. And it sounds, uh, it's just got such a, beautiful sound so uh, in the two weeks I've had it it's been it long. sounds young it does if, yeah how old is it 1971 so work it out so uh, <laughs> yeah, it's getting on mate yeah. 30 40 nearly 50 years old nearly that guitar and it still yeah. looks absolutely brand new it's, it's just not been played on the I've had it for two weeks it's been on the radio once uh, done three gigs and this will be its first recorded session so it's only right it's, uh, it's making up for lost time yeah it's got a bit of work to do, isn't it? Yeah, it's making up for lost time, yeah. It deserves to be out of the case. They're great guitars. Anyone that uh, knows anything about Japanese guitars, the ones in the 70s were called the lawsuit models because um, they copied. This is a copy of a Martin 0045. And because it's uh, in exact copy, they were taken to court. So they're called the lawsuit guitars. So they've become very, very popular. I mean, look at the back of the neck. You can see it's got no play wear at all. It's still dull, which is what they're like when they're new. Um, Bit of um, rebellion in there, isn't there? Yeah, I got it so yeah. cheap. I got it such a good price. You, do you know what? Well, I don't know whether we should go down this road or not, because I think it would just make a lot of people feel really, really sick. Yeah, yeah. Knowing how much you pay for it and how much it's worth. I mean, yeah. we know both know that coming to you as it is right now, this guitar is a bit of a gift, isn't it? Absolutely. I paid nearly as much for. I paid nearly as much for the guitar case <laughs> as I paid for the guitar. So that gives you an idea of how. Little light actually paid for it, but it was what the lady wanted. She was very happy with uh, yeah. what she got for it. And uh, and I'm not a dealer. I love it. I'm going to cherish it, and I'm going to use it. And I'm sure it's going to acquire a few, you know, little dings here and there, which is uh, which is just what happens. And you've re you've restringed it, have you? I've restringed it. it yeah. fitted, a, fitted a real good quality pickup. Which what is, pickup uh, you got in there? Fishman's Rare Earth. Yeah. Humbucker, which is a great pickup. I've got Fishman's two of these. Fishman's Rare Earth. Fishman's Rare Earth, yeah. yeah. Been using them for 20 years nearly. Yeah. I've had this one for 15 years, actually. Yeah. And uh, but it works. Just sounds lovely. That sounds really nice. Yeah. I'm going to get you to record a song. It's sweet. On your phone it's warm. It feels young. Yeah. <laughs> It's got a nice sustain to it still, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's nice sustain. So, so uh, we're, uh, yeah, so... Looking Saturday, forward to Saturday. Yeah. yeah. I wanted to record this song last year, and uh, I hadn't finished it. I thought I'd finished it, and I hadn't finished it. And I approached uh, uh, the record label that I'm with, and uh, there was kind of conflicts of interest. There's another Christmas song. There's a little clue. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> it was put to one side and I thought the song was finished but the I'm song absolutely was... itching to give this away yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah. like a child so, so, the, the, the song wasn't finished I thought it was finished but it wasn't but the song was finished uh, about a month ago there was uh, there was another chorus waiting to be added in which was uh, 
done about a month or so ago. So now it's ready. So it's uh, it's, uh, it's it's just over a year old, and uh, and I can't wait to record it. I'm more excited about recording this song because of who I'm recording it with and the people that I've got on board. I'm really excited about. Can that. you imagine the? Oh, I can't, can't wait. say it, can we? It's a little clue. It's a little clue. Yeah, up there yeah. is where a certain someone's going to be. Yeah, and uh, so yeah. Yeah. And uh, so it's going to be great. And the Sopranos, there's a very beautiful, yeah, got, there's a great story behind her, isn't there? Yeah, she's great. I've known, I've known uh, this young lady since she was this big, since she was probably four years old. And she's now 20, 23, 24. And she's a great singer, a uh, great singer. And uh, I did a little, little thing on social media that I was looking to do a song. And uh, she was one of the first persons that went, count me in. So I've let the universe decide who is supposed to be here, mm. and uh, I've done I've done it like that. And uh, yeah, it's going to be good. It's we'll leave it there, shall we? We'll leave it there. Leave it there. Yeah. I'll get some more video of you later on, Chippy. And we will. And we'll uh, we'll uh, keep you in the loop. Keep you in the loop. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Yeah, pleasure. So I've just been to the church. You saw the little chat there with uh, Anthony Chipperfield. He's a great guitarist. Great yeah. guitarist. Good, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. So we're all set to go for a Saturday for a record. We've got a kind of a plan how we're gonna uh, work on that day. I'll turn up early. So it'll take me a good hour and a half to set everything up, mics, cables, setting up a door. Um, yeah. Need a bit more lighting as well, I noticed whilst we were in there. Uh, so I'm gonna work on that. And um, yeah, I'm just heading off home now. Uh, thinking a bit more about on a Saturday. So um, we'll do some more video footage of the day, so see you then. See ya, bye.